Yo guys, it's Bartlett here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a glitch of how to destroy your personal vehicle and get it back for free. For starters, I'm sure all of you who are good GTA players know that destroying your vehicle, you have to pay for it. As so, I will demonstrate here. I just blew up my car, and if I call Moore's Mutual... This you can is see I have to pay for it, but okay. there is a way around that. So I did get the cops on me and that would be why I chose the easy way out. But for the vehicle, there is a way around paying for it. And it's actually quite simple. So here I got my car back. Now, in order to uh, destroy it and not have to pay for it, what you got to do, any gun of your choice, any gun you want, you have to shoot at the engine until it starts on fire. Now, as soon as you see a flame, stop shooting. As you can see, it's just started on fire. Now, you, as soon as it starts on fire, you want to not shoot it anymore because if you do, you'll risk blowing it up. So once you see it start on fire, all you got to do is wait. So as you can see, after a short time, it has said that my personal vehicle has been destroyed, but you can clearly see it right there. So now if I call Moore's Mutual. Morse Mutual. You can see there it is help. right there, and I can get it back for free, no charge. Sure. So all you gotta do to get your car back for free and destroy it is shoot at the engine until it starts on fire then all you got to do is wait and after a few minutes it will pretty much stall and be totaled and then you can get it back for free anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like and i'll see you guys later